Kirinyaga University School of Health Sciences New Students Virtual Orientation I'm Dr. Immaculate Marwa Dean School of Health Sciences I take this special moment to welcome you freshmen and women to Kirinyaga University to the School of Health Sciences I congratulate you for becoming university students Feel proud of yourselves for securing this placement. Congratulations for becoming scholars in one of the most promising prestigious universities in Kenya. We are indeed happy to have you in the School of Health Sciences. With the current situation of COVID-19 pandemic, the academic world has been severely impacted, especially the health sector which heavily depends on the health training institutions to produce well-trained and qualified healthcare professionals. Despite the pandemic challenges, let your dreams and your spirit not be broken. Your personal determination and God will see you through this long and bearing journey you have just started. In a special way, I thank, I thank your parents and guardians for the sacrifice they have made to bring you here. In their minds, they have a vision to make your life better for yourself and maybe help them in their old age or your other siblings. They sacrifice in the sense that some of them struggle to put food on the table so that you can make it through university education. Your parents have invested in you to pay back after four years of your stay at the university. Others have invested in you emotionally and psychologically. On the other hand, the community back at home have a myriad of expectations on you to be role models to youths in the village, to be teachers, doctors, nurses, engineers, among others. That's how important your education is. So start this journey with vigor and work hard to reach your desired destination. Overview of the School of Health Sciences. The school is headed by the Dean, assisted by the Chairman of the Department, COD, Mr. Dennis Butto, the School Secretary, the School Examination Officer, Dr. Eli Munde, respective program leaders you will be able to meet and interact with them during your stay in KYU Bachelor of Science Nursing Ms. Mary Murigi Clinical Medicine and Surgery John Ngede Medical Engineering Dr. Jane Rose Muriuki Biotechnology Mr. Mark Webale Environmental Health Science Sami Kagweyo Forensic Science Mr. Geoffrey Obondi and a group of highly qualified lecturers in your respective areas of study. Being a freshman woman or woman means you are setting off on a long but exciting journey of change and lifelong adventure. The road of a scholar is ever winding to various destinations you want to reach in life. New students experience a vast world of scholars and scholarships. In university education, you have rights and privileges all packed together. How you use them matters a lot in this journey that you have just started. The journey is long and sometimes you will face some challenges, but don't give up face and manage them squarely. One writer, Jerry Seinfeld, said, sometimes the road less travel is less travel for a reason. Not everyone in high school made it to university, so you are here for a reason. Another writer said, don't be afraid to take the road less travel. Of all the paths you take in life, Make sure a few of them have that, John Mayer. So make yourself dirty with the knowledge while here at the university. 
Take note of the following. Start choosing what you want to do now and work towards perfecting it to meet your goals. It is not what your parents, friends or relatives want, but what do you want to do and be in life? Make choices and defend them to others. Even when they turn to be bad or good, you can stand tall and say, this was my own choice. The world is a wonderful place to be as God created other human beings to make it a better place. In KYU, don't be lonely. Make new friends as this help in developing your interpersonal skills, help in conflict resolution, and improve our communication skills and coexistence in a shared environment and amenities. Take time to interact with your fellow students as loneliness and depression kills. The assumptions that you are now grown-ups don't go beyond limit. You are still growing as some of you have just turned 18 and others are yet. The journey to being a grown-up is painful and sometimes full of regrets. So take time to mold yourself to be a better person. Don't rush to do grown-up things, especially in your activities and behaviors. Some of you are already experiencing crisis and you are already feeling out of place. Psychologically, you are feeling way down. Mentally and even change of environment can be a crisis. My advice to you all is always endeavor to maintain a positive mind that things will change for the better. In the university, you will en encounter intellectual challenges. For instance, you will be required to utilize self-guided learning online learning platforms as no lecturer will follow you up to remind you to study. Exams will surely be set and you will be required to sit for those exams. Ask for help anytime you feel things are not holding up for you. Universities have rules and regulations. As much as we do not dwell on them to remind you always, but they are used to guide our operations. Refer to the student's handbook. Take time to master and know those that apply to your areas of training. For instance, class attendance will earn you a failing grade. Ensure to earn 85% class attendance in all your classes. Don't cheat in exams, even if it is a cut. Thus, be at the right place at the right time and doing the right things. In the School of Health Sciences and in KYU, time is of essence. You are all admitted to study health-related courses, which require that you practice self-discipline, self-awareness, and time management. Nurses use time to care for patients. Clinical officers use time to make diagnosis and treat patients. Medical engineer, engineers use time to set up apparatus for use to care for patients. Forensic scientists use time to investigate a crime scene. Biotechnologists require time to process specimens for further studies. Thus, in the School of Health Sciences, I would like to encourage all of you to use time wisely. According to M. Scott Peck, until you value yourself, you won't value your time. And until you value your time, you will not do anything with it. Further, according to Steve Jobs, use of time can be summarized to 4M rules. Manufacture time, make time, manage time, and maximize time. All in all, a day is made up of 24 hours, nothing less or more. At the School of Health Sciences, we will train you, but we will not teach you how to impart new skills that will bring change to the community we live in. 
at KYU we want to produce the best rated nurses, clinical officers, forensic scientists, biotechnologists, medical engineers, community health experts, environmental health experts and health informatic experts that Kenya and the world can afford. The journey has, has started now. Have a look at the amenities available for you in the School of Health Sciences. They attached virtual videos and photos. I wish you all the best in your studies and welcome to School of Health Sciences family and the larger KYU family. May God bless you all.